Alrighty. Hey Nicole, how you going? Let me just fix this up. Let me just fix this up. Can you can you hear me now? Alrighty, I'm hoping you guys have had a fantastic week so far. I see Robert is in the house. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Nicole, how are you? Steven Seaden. Uh, Nicole says, what's the name of the music? Um, the music is 808 Trap. And uh, Nicole says, exciting session. I haven't even started yet. <laughs> I like, I like um, the hope that you have on this. Honestly, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, Steven says, hi, Prosper. It's all good. It's all good. Thank you so much. I'm so excited that, you know, all my regulars are in the house. Um, do you guys have some kind of notification when I'm on or something like that? Because some of the times, you know, before I even start, I already see that people are on. Luke Corin, thank you so much for tuning in. Okay, so today we're talking about, um, you know, stuff that just happened or stuff that just happens in and around our businesses. But first of all, let's get this out of the way. Uh, for those that are watching this for the first time, my name is Prosper. Tarovinga and I viscerally believe that every person that's running an online business should have it to be profitable and enjoyable. And then I also believe that if you've got an online business, you should be creating for and relating to your audience. You know what I mean? Because you're going to be demanding money off of them. So if essentially every single day I teach a four-step system that is designed to help you uh, market, brand, and scale your businesses so that your businesses become profitable and enjoyable. And I happen to lead a team, um, you know, of digital marketing experts here at Live Long Digital that have a job to make sure that your business grows essentially using digital marketing strategies. And every single day at 2 p.m. AEST, we sit around here so that we can talk about how to make your business earn more money with less struggle. And I will help you build systems around your business so that your business works on autopilot. And we will eventually help you generate leads and revenue so that your business is working um, you know, with your brand and also your PR all at the same time. Now, I really want to inspire you to do things that actually do inspire you. All right. Okay. Hold on. What was that? Oh, right. Apparently today we have to talk about your business name or what is it that you call yourself for business? What's your business title? Can you just type in your business title before we get started? I want to know what your professional title is. What do you call yourself or what do you want your clients to call you? All right. I normally go by online prosperity consultant or online prosperity um, uh, strategist. All right. So I want to know what is it? What is your job description? What is your title? Tinae zinenga senior nezuro magati misa katika sura taka ngochi kora managuya kumiting. Hmm, what's that all about? Anyway, Jamie says um, detailing and polishing. Uh, Nicole is the invincible entrepreneur. Nicole again is the social media business coach. That's pretty cool. All of those are really good titles. All right, but I'm gonna ask you one thing: What's in a name? What's in a name? What does it mean to have that title uh, that you have? What does it mean for you to have that title? Now, Robert calls himself the peer uh, counselor, but it needs a little bit of work. We can still work on that, my man. Network marketer with Isagenics. I don't know, man. Love you, brother, but I hate your industry. Oh, I don't know. Oh, man, I don't know. I, 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 it's nothing about you. It's just your industry is... Yeah, anyway, that shouldn't uh, mess up my day. But at the end of the day, I really want to go on with, with what I had scheduled for everybody else today. I just got news that um, apparently Puff Daddy, Diddy, Puff and Diddy... Sean Combs has changed his name and he's now called Brother Love. All right. I don't know if you guys have seen any of that or if you actually know who Puff Daddy is. Um, he goes by, you know, a lot of names. Uh, back in the time, they used to call him 
uh, Papa Didi Puff, and then he went from Puff Daddy, and then he became Didi, and um, recently he started calling himself um, Swag, I think. And then in 1999, I remember he was called Puffy, and then uh, 2001, he called himself P. Didi. 1998, if I remember well, he called himself Sean John, and then at some point in 2011, he called himself Swag. And yesterday, as I was going through my newsfeed, I discovered that he had changed his name, and he's now called Brother, Brother Love. I mean, seriously, brother men, what's up with all of that? People get confused, all right? This is what I'm trying to get to. If people don't, if you are not clear on who you are personally, how are people going to know who you are and what you stand for, all right? I, I've got nothing against the brother. He's, 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 you know, I grew up on his name. I grew up on his watch. Um, you know, I was following his music, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you know, when he he lost me at P Diddy, and when he went from Diddy, I think now he's Diddy brother, Diddy Sean, or Papa Diddy Puff, or Diddy Papa Puff Daddy Pippi, Papa Diddy Poof Puff Pike Paga Pogo, whatever he's calling himself today, it doesn't matter. What people are after is value. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, this is what I've got for you. All right. Some people are so fixated on what their job title is. Some people are so fixated on what other people call them instead of them focusing on what they add value to other people. One's name is not just the, the name of their title, end of it. You know what I mean? Because when I asked you earlier on, what is it that you call yourself or what do people know you for or what do you want to be recognized as or what do you want to be known as? If you're not clear about what value you're putting out there, if you're not clear about what you serve and why people should hang around you, the more you rebrand, the more you change your name, it shows lack of clarity within yourself, then why should people hang on to what you've got to say? That's all I've got to say. We might as well end the show today. Because what's in a name? Why would you want to be called a coach, a consultant, a, a, a senior executive when you're not providing value? Because it's all just about your ego, isn't it? We're here to live, we're here to learn, we're here to serve. Now what's your job title serving to the greater good? Because you are paid in direct proportion to the value you put out in the marketplace. So why, you know, it's more important to add value than you seeking out a job title. Let the audience define who you are. Because there's more, there's more to a name than anything else. If you really look at it, it says life begets life. Energy creates energy. And it's by spending oneself that one becomes rich. So if you're not putting out content, if you're not expanding or, you know, providing value to the rest of humanity, why would anybody want to follow you? Your rebrand, your job title, your anything else is not going to mean anything if you're not helping other people's lives to become better. You know, you know, every, every other time that I speak to people, I speak to people in a lot of interviews, you know, and I'm always asking them, so what makes you different? Oh, no, because I'm the consultant of this. Um, they're defining themselves by their job title. You know, this is the first exposure that people have with you. And obviously it's, you know, why would anyone want to associate with your own selfish, um, you know, selfish need? Do you know what I mean? So this change of P. Dita's name has just really reorientated my idea about value. All of this was predicated by a simple question. What do you do? You know, and somebody runs faced off to, oh, no, I'm P. Diddy, or I'm Papa Diddy Puff, or I'm Sean Combs. Who are you and why should anybody else care? Do you know what I mean? So maybe you should ask yourself, what is it that you want to provide? What value are you providing to other people? And what is it that you want to do for others? It will be the first question that you ask, you know? Because some of you guys, your responses when I asked is exactly where it is that you want to be or what you want people to call you. 
typical responses when you ask people, what do you want to do or what is it that you do? They say, oh, I'm an executive leader. Um, I've got a high level position and I make high level decision and et cetera, et cetera. Nobody cares about that. But there's nothing wrong with that response. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with that response. It's just it doesn't yield or it doesn't get another person to reciprocate or say, hey, excuse me, can I know more about what you're doing? You know, when you go out professional networking out there, it's easy to just relate your your pitch to what you do or what your job title is, you know. But at the end of the day, why don't you start with why you do what you do? You know, I've, I've been thinking about this for, for ever since I read that. And it's dawned on me that, you know, what I really want to hear about people or what, I, what other people want to hear, you know, about somebody is you are striving to add value to your team, to other people, to humanity, instead of just a personal end game outcome. Do you know what I mean? It, it really bothers me that, you know, some people are not even focused on adding and, you know, some people maybe just be focused on adding an important title to the end of their name. And then they've got nothing short of, 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 you know, value that they're putting out there and they get disappointed if you get their name title wrong. You know, there's so many people that I'm reaching out to that call themselves coaches, um, you know, um, you know, you know, um, coaches, mentors or whatever it is. But I'm asking them to put value on the show and none of them are coming forth. You know, I, people want to learn from you. People want to to connect. People no longer buy the product because you having a job title is like being a product in a factory. You know, people want to buy the story behind that person. What value are you bringing to the market? You know, what meaningful existence are you helping other people to have? Or are you just going to be producing the fastest, safest, easiest, cheapest, and, you know, most efficient service out there, which can be replaced? You know why? Because anybody can do it. You know, so I want to, I want to help you have a bit of a shift in mindset so that you start focusing on your own personal growth, you know, so that you are competent in exactly what you do and you grow into that title that you give yourself. You know, you know, you know, I would argue that maybe some sometimes it's 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 okay to understand the technical aspects of your job, mastering the skills that are required, because obviously people want you to provide um, you know a service or something like that. Do you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, who are you serving and what are you providing to them? Make that foundation right from that start. And it does take time. But shouldn't a great leader take time to actually understand the work that they're doing before they start making decisions, before they, you know, execute any work? You know? So this isn't to say that maybe what you're, you're, you're going about right now is hard or, or, or it's easy but make sure you're making a difference. That's how people will remember you. Otherwise, every second year you'll be rebranding, you know? Every second year you'll be rebranding because you outgrow that title, you know? Don't let your title consume who you are. Be of service. Because when you now outgrow that title, what happens? It's a rebrand. People get confused as to what is it that you actually do, etc., etc. Because that whole me, I'm a coach, me, I'm a consultant, me, I'm a whatever. It's a me, me, me economy that a lot of people need to shift from me to we. You know? Because you're focusing on your own indiv in individual career or, you know, advancement or whatever success you've had. And because you're only holding on to that because that's probably all you have without any value that you can offer. I mean, it's important if you're an employee, do you know what I mean? But if you are going to be running a business where you're helping other people start, scale and grow or help them have a, 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 an existence that that is, you know, you know, of a happier existence. You need to start focusing on what is in it for other people. You know? 
Liz says, I offer natural health options who turn on all ages, young, middle-aged, and the elderly. Great stuff. Nice to see you on the show, by the way. Unless you are planning to be a cog in the factory or a cog in the machine that's just performing functions as intended, then maybe, you know, having a, a well thought out job title is what you need. But your individual and, and your own personality, it's really, really important to let the other people, how are you going to help them? You know? Do you know what I mean? John Durrani, thank you so much for tuning in. Right? So I was laughing when I heard that he had changed his name again because it's hard to keep up a persona which doesn't define who you are. You know? There's a, I think there's a cartoon that speaks, that speaks to this directly, you know? It depicts, um, I think there's like a sinking boat on one end and there's two guys that are, you know, frantically bailing water and they want to gush out. Um, I mean, they want to they wanna jump out to the other side of the boat. And on, on the other end, some guys are, you know, are just watching, you know? And then one of them is, is, is asking, you know, they, they ask for an observation and they're like, I'm sure glad there isn't a hole on our end. The point being, if the boat sinks, all four of them are going to sink underwater. But he thinks that just because he has a different title and he's holding a, 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 a boat, a rowing boat... I mean, I mean, an all, he's not going to sink. That doesn't mean what, what's, what you're doing with others. If you're in the same boat, you have to actually be helping others by actually helping them. I don't know if this is actually making sense. Do you know what I mean? So helping a team or helping other people, you know, shouldn't be, um, you know, because once you start putting your name forward or what you do or your own skills and expertise uh, forward you forget that you're here to help other people you know you know what i mean so you want to be adding value to other people what's in it for the rest of of us because people are buying stories people um you know are, are looking for places to belong are you providing that as whoever you have chosen your business to become you know so, um, Ansley says, we help people live brighter, lighter, and healthier, and longer, simply by the choices they make each and every day through education, information, and connections. Exactly. You know what? Because at the end of the day, I don't want to lie. I mean, there's always different ways of going about it. But if you lead with your job title, people are just going to be like, oh, yeah, it's yet another handshake. You know? So you want to add value to the people you're working with, your customers. You want to add value to your team. And you want to be authentic within your own self. Because if you keep chopping and changing, it's going to confuse people. You know? If you really think about it. If you really, really, really think about it. What you do isn't about you at all. It's about the people that will consume your products. It's about the people that will use your services. And it's about the people that will use your ideas. So you add value when the end user actually extracts some, some meaningful or useful um, you know, uh, sense out of whatever you're offering. You know? So generally being a director or vice president of a company, it doesn't equate to adding value to anyone. How does that help? You know? So being a director, you know, it adds value when you actually make sound decisions, but it ends there. When you lead your company, it ends there. But when you then produce excellent products that help other people, when you then produce excellent work, when you then produce excellent content, that's the value you got to put out there. And that's what you should be known by. Now, I want you to type in the comments there, what are you known for? You know? Because when you continuously add value to your brand, to your company, or whatever it is, there's no need for you to change it. There won't be any need for you to change the name of your company. You know? Do you know what I mean? So I just really challenge you to think about how you can add value to your, to your team. What are you actually putting out there except your job title or your job description? Because if you are not working for anyone else, nobody's going to hire you. You know? Nicole says, make small businesses roll on social media. Exactly. A lot of businesses don't even know 
you know, a lot of businesses are on Facebook, but not everyone can Facebook. So make it your prerogative to make sure that you're out there providing them with that value and helping them out. Because the value-adding mindset will make the most difference. The more you start saying, I am, I am, I am, the more people are going to start running away from you because nobody cares what you, you can do. Nobody cares what you're out there for. Everybody cares what you can do for them. All right? Yesterday, I learned something, uh, something new. Everybody needs a wife. What's in it for everyone? W-I-F-E. You know? Focus on adding value, not creating a job or a job description for yourself. What's in a name? It's just a title at the end of it. That's the reason why right now people like, yes, P. Diddy, Puff, Diddy, Puff are trying, to, are trying to stay relevant by constantly chopping and changing their name when his last album was most 10 years ago. You know, you start holding on to what was. Do you know what I mean? So you really want to make sure that it's not just the job title you're going after. You're actually going out there to provide value. Find out how you can actually help people by actually helping them. You know? Because at the end of the team, at the end of the, 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 the day, if you're not helping people, if you're not making anybody's life better, then I think you're literally wasting your time. You know, it does take a lot of time for you to actually figure out where you are and what it is that you're doing. Because people don't care if you're a coach or a mentor. People care what value you're bringing to them. How are you changing their lives? How are you making them aware of what they don't know? How are you making them, you know, disassociate with everything else that's wrong with what they have been doing? That's all that matters. Being this, that, 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 you will constantly change and people... People are tired of one-click wonders. We all know that. Grand opening, grand closing. And it's expensive to constantly be changing your branding or the wording around your title just because you, you are not aligned with it. And that's the reason why I teach people this system of utilizing your name into your system of how you do your business. That way, it sticks with you and you fight for it. All right? Thank you so much, Ali, for tuning in. We we're just talking about Puff Daddy, the rebrand. He's calling himself Brother Love now. Well, he was called Papa Didi Puff, Papa Didi, Sean Didi, Com Puff Daddy. Oh, I don't know, man. You, you confuse people if you are not aligned with who you are at the core. So make sure you do that. Yeah, Brother Love or Papa Didi Brother or Puff Brother or <laughs> Brother Puff. <laughs> I'm just having fun with this. But if anyone has any questions about today's show, let a brother know. And um, yeah, obviously there's quite a lot that could have been discussed, but I just saw this and um, it, it felt good to just, you know, put in something, um, you know, that is relevant to what's happening at, at the moment. Because never forget that your life story and your experience have greater importance and market value than you could ever think of. Because you're here to make a difference. You're here to live. You're here to learn. You're here to contribute. So make sure that in your title or in your dealings with other people there, in your networking and in you putting out stuff out there, you are being a person of value. Because you are paid in direct proportion to the value you bring to the marketplace. It's not in your title. It's not the name that you, you call yourself. People don't actually even care. You know? People don't want a doctor. People don't. People want somebody to heal them. Are you a healer? Huh? Are you going to take them away from their pain? You know? People don't want a pilot. People don't even care about what the pilot looks like. Even though the pilots are all dressed up. Nobody even sees them half the time. You know? You just jump into the plane. You just hear his voice. And then you go wherever. Because then that's the value he's providing. That transportation. So whatever title you want to go out and give yourself and, um, you know, brag about it to your homies. At the end of the day, you really got to be making sure that it comes with value. That's the only way that people will remember who you are. You know? 
Do you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, if you've got any questions about today's show, if you've got any questions about where your brand really stands or how you can actually, you know, put content out there, um, let me let me really, really, you know, help you out. All right? I really hope that you've had um, a fantastic show today. It was just uh, predicated on this guy's name and it was really funny for me. So let me know in the comments below um, what you think. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.